Hey, what up, guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome to today's Futmus SBC video, day number three, and we have been given three awesome players. I'm not going to lie. We have Zakaria, who is a Swiss centre mid in the Bundesliga, nearly a member of Club 80, apart from his shooting, but he's going to hold it down as a six foot three, like centre mid CDM super sub for me. I think he'll be great. I'm going to be doing him today. Uh, we then have Kaleon, who I'm not going to lie, I won't be completing. I feel like he's a little bit too expensive. Uh, and uh, I'm not necessarily as interested in him. But then we have this guy, Bobby Firmino. Roberto Firmino has an 88 rated item here on Footmas. Uh, and I know how good his regular is. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to be unlocking this guy today. So we'll quickly start with the one that I'm not going to unlock. It is, of course... Calleon. Now, this is the sort of squad that I would recommend that you guys go for. Uh, the reason that it doesn't have enough chemistry right here uh, would be because, well, there's, it's a center forward formation, so you might need to move Pizzi, or that you might, you know, just be able to get someone else into this squad if you want. Another 83 from Liga Nos. Um, but yeah, if you move Pizzi up to a uh, or if you get Bruno Fernandes, no, he's already in the squad. Yeah, you're going to have to, a couple position changes required there. Uh, and then he'll shoot from two chemistry all the way up to full chem and you'll be fine. Uh, or you could put a little, you know, position change over here on, uh, uh, on what's his face. Or you could just switch here like that as well. And then, of course, you'd have a little bit more chemistry to Brahimi. But basically, you need two Spanish players at minimum. Uh, and these are the two that I've put in the squad. Uh, Serie A players, minimum three. Uh, and as you can see, we've gone for a little bit of inter-chemistry there. That's obviously going to help the rating using Handanovic in this team. One team of the week player, or foot champions player. And that is where we bring Bruno Fernandez in. 85 overall, rating with 80 chem. And as, you, uh, as I said, you know, just by a couple of position modifiers and you'll be fine. So then we move over to Dennis Zakaria, who... I'm not going to lie, I used a lot at the very start of the game, uh, and this is how I'm going to go ahead and complete him today. Bear in mind, I have some loyalty on some of these players, so uh, you would need to probably get a little bit of loyalty on some of these, or figure out a slightly different way of doing it. One way I would suggest would be potentially to get either a Marseille or um, French striker up there, that's going to help you with chemistry, uh, or someone that, you know, maybe uh, you could get a Roma fullback here or something and then use an Italian striker like Balotelli and that would help link everyone together up top but these are the players that I've got at my disposal so this is what I will be using um, because basically although you only need an 83 rated squad uh, you do need 95 chemistry so that might push the price of some of these players up uh, you do also need a minimum of five Bundesliga players so say hello to high prices for the likes of Jonathan Tarr and Bauman and stuff like that I'm sure they're going to go up in price quite a lot maximum players from the same nation is 3 uh, and 95 chem required. So um, my five Bundesliga players are as follows. We have Bauman, Tarr, uh, Toprak, Piszczek and Witzel. We then have Tovan, Payet and Falcao linking from Fr to French Ligue 1. Uh, and then a triangle of Serie A players there in Crescito, El Shirawi uh, and De Rossi. So with that, I am going to go ahead and unlock up myself a Zakaria because uh, I I always really like this player and uh, I'm happy that he's got a special item. I just did not see that coming. So I'm um, very happy actually. Now, uh, I guess his team must have finished 10th in the league last year because we have Bobby Firmino who is the... Uh, Ninth, should I say. Bobby Firmino, who is the number nine. Uh, we have uh, Calion, who is the Spanish player. And that's where the Spain are ranking in the world rankings. And then the other one based on where they finished in the league. So, uh, Gladback must have finished ninth last year. There is Zakaria. Welcome to the club. Uh, but we really want to get onto this Bobby Firmino. Now, I'll have a quick look at his in-game stats. He's six foot three, holding things down in midfield. 87 strength, 82 stamina. Yes, the shooting is not great. His sprint speed and acceleration are very very different uh, okay so he's go he's going to be quite slow to turn low balance low agility but good ball control good passing stats actually the short passing and long passing i think this is a super sub for me 92 aggression good tackling stats I like the look of this card, I'm not going to lie. Maybe there's some stats there which look a bit meh to you, but who's going to be wanting to hit a volley with Zakaria? I'm not. So, uh, welcome to the club, and let's go for the final one then. Let's go for this Bobby Firmino. 
Oh, I'm excited. I am excited. So this is what I'm going to use for him. This is what I put together and thought, oh, I think this could probably work um, in terms of like not an overly bad price, I think. I'm sure there will be ever so slightly cheaper ways out there, no doubt about it. But this is what I'm going to stick together. So Brazil players minimum two. I'm going to start with Edison. I'm going to start with Miranda as well. Uh, and those are my two Brazilian players. So they're high rated. So that, you know, you need an 86 overall rated squad for this one. It's not cheap. Now, I'm pretty sure if I put an 84 rated player in here this will bring it will bring down the overall and who's an 84 rated I think Socrates is right uh, yeah that would bring down no you could use an 84 rated player in here um, so that's interesting to know maybe my ratings are a little bit too high I think only by a couple uh, you couldn't use an 82 though could you no um, but what about does Premier League Man City what what else do they have here because if that's Stones, the UCL or Laporte's, they could use that one. Uh, chemistry does go way down. What about Tottenham? What have Tottenham got? Davinson Sanchez, probably more expensive actually than Vincent Company. I'm going to stick with what I've got he here. But bear in mind that you could get rid of a little bit of rating here and there. Maybe instead of an 87, can you use Pjanic in this squad? That would be the interesting one. Uh, to see because he's a little bit less expensive uh, than Hamshik is. Can you use Pjanic? No, see that drops the rating. I don't understand that. He's only gone down by one. It's very odd how it works. Um, but I will stick with what I've got here. Just bear in mind that you could use an 84 rated or possibly even an 83 rated player uh, from the Premier League in, in one of these two spots if you wanted to. If you can keep the chemistry, go for it. What about David Luiz actually? Would he work... If David Luiz would work, that would save us a little bit of money. That would work, you know. Uh, and, I mean, I don't understand how I go down so much in chemistry by uh, by that. What is... I mean, we could get the chemistry up plus one by putting Di Maria in the right position. Or, yeah, so let's tr let's do that. Let's save company because, yeah, he's, uh, he's relatively expensive at like 12 to 14k. Whereas I can see David Luiz is cheaper than that. Now, I'm going to be lazy and buy one for 4k. But you guys don't need to be. You can buy him for as cheap as you possibly can. Uh, so that brings it down by another another 10,000 coins, I think. The difference between company and, uh, and, and David Luiz. Uh, and then all I would need to do is... I mean, if I go CDM or CM to CDM here, uh, my chemistry is going to rise and I should have 85, which is enough to complete this Bobby Firmino. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. Uh, so we've got Edison uh, and then a little bit of Belgian link to League Unlink is quite helpful for your chemistry here. Um, and then, yes, you've got an out of position Miranda. Uh, you also have Mer uh, Hamshik, who's out of position and off chem, so only on five. Same with Jekko. Uh, so that's a, not very helpful. If you can use Pjanic in, in here in some way shape or form then that's going to help you get added chemistry as well but I figured that Verratti, Cavani and Di Maria is like a good solid trio of links from PSG that are high rated uh, and the fact that we need an 86 rated overall squad and we've got one two three four five six players in the squad that are under that 86 rating is because we've used the likes of Cavani so that's what's brought the price down a little bit hopefully this isn't a crazily expensive squad I'm gonna go ahead and unlock Roberto Firmino oh my god I was so happy to see him in the SBC section I genuinely didn't think EA were gonna go for him I tweeted a little while ago that I really hope they go big because it's number nine it's like one of the most prestigious numbers in football like this is your like out and out striker type of thing so um, very happy that they've gone big and given us a Bobby Firmino. Uh, now the question is, I've got a slightly different team over on the road to glory and I, I've taken Firmino out. But could this be a replacement? Could we bring him back in? And then maybe get the squad back to how it was before. I don't know. I'm going to have to figure this one out, guys. Um, but I'm so excited. He looks awesome. He really does. Uh, 85 shooting, 88 dribbling, 83 passing, 80 physical. Those finesse shots are going to go flying in from this player, aren't they? He is going to be outstanding. So we'll take a little look at his in-game stats. And I won't forget to show you what uh, Calais rocking as well. Um, but Bobby Firmino has got 89 finishing, 82 shot power. Great attacking positioning. Stamina is 
now 92, which is nice. Um, very nice high curve at 83. Composure, dribbling, ball control, reactions, agility and balance all looking tidy to me. Good short passing. That's why as a central attacking midfielder or a centre forward, he is going to be great. Or even as a two pairing in a striker, uh, like, you know, he's going to work well with his duo up front. I think that could work out nicely for you guys. So, Bobby Firmino comes in to my ultimate team. I'll stick him into my Prem squad in a moment. Uh, and then just for you guys that were wondering, Kaleon uh, is rocking 95 stamina, which is good. Good, com well, not good composure. It's average composure, I would say. But good agility, ball control, dribbling's not bad. Shooting stats are actually let down a little bit just by penalties. The rest of them are actually not too bad. 81 finishing might be a little bit low for such a high-rated card. But good short passing, good crossing and stuff for a winger. I don't think he looks that bad. Uh, but I won't be doing him. I think he's a little bit too expensive. So let's stick Bobby into my main Premier League squad should I? Uh, I always have this as my main team. So what will we do? I think for now, what we'll, we'll just uh, bring him in. Special Premier League. Welcome Roberto Firmino. We're going to swap him out with uh, Mikitarian for now. So there you go, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Smash a thumbs up on the video and let me know which one uh, or which out of the three are you going to be completing today. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Peace.